Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Always happy to see you, Derry Matthews. How's life? All good, mate. Uh, good to see you. Good to see everyone back. You know, in, in one building, all all safe and healthy. Uh, last time we were here, we were in a bad position, and things. Can we blame you for that? No, you can't blame me. I just, <laughs> I just, it's just, it is what it was. Um, but I'm a firm believer that things happen for a reason. Last time we come. We couldn't have George in the corner. Tom- well, tomorrow night we've got him. Um, so things have happened for a reason, and I'm I'm glad it happened. If I'm honest. Well, let's talk about it then. Jazza Dickens, Ryan Walsh. You sort of said that this is a better fight than Billy Joe Saunders and Martin Murray. Why, why would you say that? Is this because it's two technical fighters going at it, and and they're at, the, at the prime of their career, so to speak? Yeah, not 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 that was a, that went in a respectful way. Yeah, I just I think know, I, know. I just mean Martin and Billy Joe are two. World class fighters, two tremendous fighters. For me, Martin should have been a world champion. On paper, he should be a world champion twice. Um, Billy Joel's a proven world champion, proven fighter. It's just you don't get two featherweights in in, in Britain um, fighting, you know, for such a, a big fight. And for me, it deserves a world title fight. That it should, they should, they should be a world title fight on the line. They're both highly ranked by the governing bodies, and they're both proper athletes about proper professional fighters and you know made the best man win but we've done everything right in camp um, I'm, I'm looking forward to the fight night Talk to me a bit about Jazza then I mean you, you kind of said this is a, a sort of blessing in disguise because you couldn't have Georgie in the corner back in September George, George Vaughan but now you can um, just talk to me about how Jazz's mindset has been I mean this, this fight was scheduled in June then it was scheduled in September so now we're third time lucky here in December so talk to me about his mindset uh, listen you don't everyone knows he's a true professional fighter um, he lives lives in dreams boxing he's a he's a he's a, a proper athlete uh, I've had to pull the reins back on him George myself and, and Carl Evans who does his conditioning work we've had to sit down and really you know pull him back a bit uh, but he's just he, it's about it's about him being a, a true professional how he handles it and he, he, I think he's done it tremendously well um, obviously we had a couple of weeks off to recover from the Covid and then we were right back in the gym but we started off at a good pace and we've maintained it and, and made sure we haven't gone overboard and if anyone if anyone to, to praise on that it's George George for me is, is a master of getting a fighter when to peak at the right time He's done it with myself, he's done it with all the previous fights he's had and all the great champions he's had. He just knows when to call it a day. Even even in sparring, he calls sparring some days and in the gym he'll say, get yourself, get your coat on, go home, I've seen enough. And that, that's the sign of a, a world-class coach and tomorrow night it'll pay off. You, Jazza Dickens, you said there that this fight deserves to be a world title. Unfortunately, it isn't for a world title, but who knows what the, the winner you're obviously thinking it's going to be Jazza Dickens. Well, hoping it is going to be Jazza Dickens. But for the winner, this could be the stepping stone to that world title fight in the next hour, maybe in early 2021. Have you thought? Well, obviously, Jazza hasn't took his mind off Ryan Walsh. But as you as a coach, have you have you thought about what's next? No, I just want just want to get this this sort of out the way, and then I'm sure MTK will have have big plans for him. And what MTK have done with the golden contract is for me is. It's a fighter's dream. I wish I was around when it was. It was in Make the comeback. No, not a chance. <laughs> Too big. Um, wish I was just around at the time. But look, it's it's, it's down to Jazz now, and he's got a, an excellent fight in, in Walsh, who's, who I think is a is a world class fighter. That's why I keep saying it should be for the world title. But you know, we know we've done we've done it all right. We've had an excellent camp. No injuries, no niggles, no excuses. We're here to fight, and I'm sure Walsh is in the same boat. How do you beat Ryan Walsh? And I've not gone too much into technical and strategies and the game plans and stuff like that, but he's a tough operator, Ryan. So how do you go in there and, and do the business on him? He's a, he's a brilliant fighter. And if I was training someone else, sorry, if I was training someone to, if I train Walsh and 
you know, I, I wanted a spa, and I, and I was fighting Jazza. Uh, sorry, I was fighting someone like like Jazza. I'd ask for Jazza for sparring. If you know what I mean, mm-hmm. it's like, or if I was, if I, or if I was Jazza fighting another Jazza, I'd get Walsh in for sparring, just because styles make fight like they're both more or less the, the, the same. They're just like so awkward, and I think Walsh is, is a very good fighter. He's very, he looks very strong, but we've got a game plan. I don't want to give it away now because they're watching tonight, and um, but. We've worked on a game plan. I think um, I know for a fact if it comes off, we'll win the fight comfortable. Um, <clears throat> Jazz can fight inside. He can box at medium range. He can box at long range. He can box on his jab. He's, he's got it all. Um, South Port Orthodox. You name it, he's got it. And and again, so was Walsh. A bo- a stance. Um, and it's 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 a, it's a tremendous fight. I couldn't you know praise the two lads and. Made the best man win, but fingers crossed it us. How are you finding the transition from being a fighter into the coaching game? I mean, you've, you've talked about George Vaughan there, who's a world-class operator. Danny Vaughan as well, who's a, a brilliant uh, coach in his own right. So how are you finding the transition from a fighter to a coach? I'm loving it, if I'm honest. I don't miss getting punched in the face. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm honest, I'm, I'm loving it even more. And I, I said to George as well, and the other day I said, even as a trainer, I'm probably Jazza winning this as a... As a is a bigger achievement than me fighting because you've you've helped someone along the way. Do you know what I mean? You've you've put someone in the in the right way and path. I mean, I've only played a, a, a small part of camp. As I always say, George is the number one. I'm the number two. But you know, I I've I've been involved a lot in the camp and again trans, transitioning over. I've I've been with as I always say, Danny Vaughan and George Vaughan are probably the two best coaches. Well, the main, the only two coaches I've worked with. I work with a, a bit with Oliver Allison as well, but. What we, me and George and Danny had, we had something what I don't think many fighters have got. Although, George and Jazz have, have got that. Uh, JJ Metcalf had that as well with George. Little, little good connection. and You know, it's it's, it's been... It's, it's been, It hasn't been hard because I, I love the sport. I love giving... You know, I've got an amateur boxing club, with like 70 kids in, five nights of the week. I love giving back to the sport what's, what's put me in, you know, yeah, and put me in meeting good people and doing things I want to do in life. So I've, I've, I'm enjoying being a coach um, and long may continue. I, I, I don't want to fall out of love with the sport and big nights like tomorrow night is, is why I'm involved with the sport. Unfortunately in your career you, you never managed to get that, that world title. I mean you did have the WBU I think, did you? Is that right? Yeah, I won the WBU world title of featherweight. Mm-hmm. Uh, I beat, beat Steve Foster from Manchester and then I went on to box for the interim world title. Um, well, now it's classed as the regular, so again, it's about timing. The career is about time. So I won the interim world title, which is now basically the regular world title. And then there's a the super world title. There's no interim involved no more. Um, and yeah, I, 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 you know, I touch them. I have my hands on them. I box for the IBO world title as well. I box for the WBO world title. So I, I thought I had a good run of the game um, from a shitty ass kid from a council estate. I thought, you know, I got to where I wanted to be. But again, that's down to believing in the coaches I've got. I had at the time, George and Danny, and, and them looking after me. So that's why I always, I always say now, the kids who I've got in the gym or the pros I've got in the gym, I, st- I do what George and Danny d- done to me because mm. it put me in good stead in life. I'm not just talking about boxing, I'm on about o- other things in life, like buying houses, be- being proper, being clever, being smart, and just learning people respect and stuff. So that's what I'm, I'm putting into the kids and the, the foundation I've got, you know, growing up and... You know, long may I keep always say long may I continue and that's all you know, if I can make some of the kids successful what the way I got was successful with George and Danny, I'll be a happy man. Just to piggyback off that then, what would uh, it mean to you to train a world champion like Jazz Dickens? If you managed to get Jazz Dickens to the world title shot and then become a world champion, like would that be the top of your boxing career? That's what I said before. This tomorrow mm. beating Walsh it's top my of, of what I've what I've done because I, I was in there fighting, being a coach, learn, ask, asking someone to do things, getting people to listen to you and 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 work off game plans and being in the gym with them every day. That this is a massive achievement and for me it's most probably the highlight of my my boxing my old boxing career and I think this can just be the start for Jazza. I think you know we win tomorrow and then I don't want to look too far ahead but surely he's got to be knocking on the door for a world title. Surely he's got. He's got. Someone's got to give him a, you know, get the break, and and we'll be ready for it. 
No, Dad, I won't keep you much longer, but one final thought on why the, the boxing fans should tune in tomorrow night. There's no fans in the arena, obviously, uh, but why should we tune in tomorrow night? For me, you're most probably seeing the two best featherweights who have not been crowned a world champion fighting, fighting for you know a golden contract final and it can put them in good stead for, for being a world champion and may the best man continue. I've got a lot of respect for the Walsh family and the, and the team they've got. Graham Ever and that they're good people. Um, made, made the best man win, but again, fingers crossed, it's going to be Jazza. Well, Derry, thanks for this fight for TV. It's always a pleasure catching up with you, even though off camera you take the pure piss out of me, man, but it's all love. I, I'm a joker, I try, you know, I, I am what I am. I don't try and change for no one, and a lot of people know that. Definitely. Well, Derry, thanks for this fight for TV, bro. Stick in and I'll Thank speak you. to you soon. Thank, Thank you. Cheers. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.